Snacking happens all the time. We snack at breakfast, we snack for brunch, we snack in the afternoon. People are not just breakfast, lunch, and dinner anymore. People are always on the move. Between lunch and dinner, people want a snack. They want to have a glass of wine and a snack, or a beer and a snack. Across the board, people are becoming more adventurous in dining, but especially with the younger generation, they're kind of seeking out different flavors, different cultures. With the older demographic, you know, it's kind of leading them to be more adventurous. And with the younger dem demographic, we're bringing them in because they're feeling adventurous already. And that's where global snacking comes in. You know, you have such a global community that's developing in, in our world these days, and you're seeing so many cultures and uh, diverse cuisines emerging, and they're melding with each other, which is America in a pot, so to speak. And when people are shy to try something new, they'll go to a snack of, of an Asian dish or a Japanese dish or a, a Latin dish. makes the menu interesting. I mean, that's what I feel. I mean, you... And fun. Are, exactly, a fun and, and interesting, and, and for customers to come in, oh, this looks great, this looks exciting. Oh, this is something that I've never tried, let me try. And the fusion of it as well, taking different countries and, and fusing it together, taking some Mediterranean flavors, but using Japanese techniques. I mean, that's, that's so hip right now, and people are all over that. From Tex-Mex to Asian Cajun to Mexiterranean, whatever have you, you know? It seems that's where the market's going. It's important for operators to put this type of global inspired snacks on their menu because it's only going to gain in popularity and draw more people into your establishment. I was in Latin America, I was in Asia, um, I was in the Middle East, and when I design menus or, or snacks, I kind of try to build on those. Techniques from different, different parts of the world and spices from different parts of the world, using all, stuff we're all familiar with. Uh, you know, the normal proteins and vegetables and sometimes exotic too. Everyone's seen the same snacks we've been doing for 50 years. I think it's time that people want something different. But I also think like for this younger generation, they want something like snack activities, like things that are interactive at the oh, yeah. table. People like interactive food. It's like crafting for foodies. The more thinking you can do for the guests, the easier the, the experience will be. Somebody who, who might have just come for one beer now is ordering two plates or three plates. They will not go for two entrees, we know that. They might go for one salad and one entree and that's pretty much it. But they might go for three small plates. And, and that's where our edge is. The whole ritual of nibbling while you're drinking can increase your alcohol sales. It can increase the, um, your, your food sales. Uh, if they're having fun, they're gonna stay a little bit longer and spend more money.